component of the event. With him, we will have the opportunity to be together throughout the whole sessions. Welcome, Sergio. Thank you very much. It's an honor for me to be sharing this stage with you today. I am Sergio Morales. I am director of a business development in DHL supply chain, and it's a honor to be here with you. Without a doubt, we live in times where the only constant is change. That is the reason why it has been paramount to become flexible and adaptable. The first step, by all means, is to, to know about this. And for this agenda, we have prepared very high quality content and with top tier guests who will give us their vision on the more relevant subjects of transportation. It's important to mention that uh, even despite this very changing environment, we are here stronger than ever. And none of this would be possible without the 500 uh, transportation partners that are built into this network, the biggest in Mexico, DHL supply chain. And that's why I would like to to celebrate all the challenges we've overcome, all the success we've achieved, and also the failures that uh, have turned uh, to learning, uh, and now we are stronger to face upcoming challenges. On our behalf, we want to recognize all of those who make this possible and who are here with us in this session. Thank you very much. For DHL Supply Chain Mexico, safety comes first. So we would like to share that for this forum, we have all used like the safety precautions on health, including um, the use of face masks and a uh, good distance between us. This is in line with the context that we are living in the country, and that is why we are having this 100% uh, virtual event. Indeed, Serge. And let us remember all conferences will be available in three, it, in three languages. English, Spanish, and Portuguese. You just have to click on the language for your preferred language that you see on your screens. 
We would like to inform you as well that the agenda of the event will remain available in the link where you signed up. And for those who are addicted or not so much to social media, we would like to invite you to share this experience on your social networks with photos of the event or your opinion on logistics. All opinions are welcomed. We recommend that you use the hashtag DHALTF2021 in all your posts so we can keep on with all the conversations and share them in our global network. Remember last year, Serge, we had more than 8,000 people in 22 different countries participating in the event. People from the U.S., Colombia, Argentina, Peru, Brazil, Germany, Japan, and, of course, Mexico. Hello, all of those who are coming with us from every corner of the world. How about we get started with our first speaker, Sergio? Yes, I would love that. So I would like everyone to welcome uh, Juan Carlos Aderman. He is a vice president of uh, transportation in DHL supply chain Mexico and Latin America. He has more than 25 years of experience in DHL supply chain, and he has uh, um, created new business and methods that have uh, turned the company into the leader. He has a bachelor degree from the Nahuac University and has a master's degree in international logistics in the Tecnológico de Monterrey and also high management in IPADE. He will talk to us about the evolution of transportation in DHL supply Mexico and Latin America. Throughout the session, you may ask as many questions as you wish through the questions chats you see on the broadcast. Please write the question question in your message so that we know you want to ask the question. Welcome, Juan. Like every time, it is a pleasure to have you here with us. Hello, good morning. Thank you for everything. Yes, welcome to DHL Transportation Forum 2021. And uh, I would like to have this uh, little conversation just to begin with, with the intention to show you how have we developed our tools in the region in these last years? I think we should start uh, talking about how in these last five years we have uh, looked for innovation in transportation, not only Mexico, but throughout the region. And we have always wanted to be a trend, uh, follow all the trends and to be innovative at every moment. So we have created a strategic plan in several areas. We have initiatives for innovation and also new tools so we can get into the market. Always looking for our customer satisfaction, which is what I, what I want and what we want, uh, what the whole the market is going to, and is also thriving like businesses sustainability. So we have developed several tools and all of them together, they come to be a strategic a transformation in these least five years in DHL Mexico and Latin America. We'll talk about what we've done in Mexico, we'll see some samples and uh, also the results that we have had in uh, Brazil, Colombia, Peru, Argentina, because we are all one team and we have always looked for having the same solutions in every country. So one of our first solution is the connected control towers. Connected control towers is uh, one of our most innovative solutions. We have developed this for the last couple of years and they integrate all the processes in logistics in and out of DHL supply chain. That means doesn't integrate only DHL activities, but also our suppliers and also our customers, clients. So in every moment that we are operating, these moments are integrated in these connected control towers and we'll see how the processes, including inbound manufacturing and uh, raw materials administration, planning, um, orders, administration, appointments, all these are sheltered in the same connected control tower. In Mexico, we have 180 customers working in this, 
And with this, we have developed processes that connect all our sectors consumption, also health uh, sciences, chemistry, automobile industry, and technology. So even if each sector has its own particularities and they work independently, we also have tools that are integrated. For instance, our monitoring uh, center and visibility in this, we can see all the units that we are managing uh, online and at the same moment. With this, we can build up something and we are integrating operations between different sectors with our perfect lane network. There are units that can be traveling south to north within the country with uh, technology products, but they could come back with um, uh, car manufacturing products for, for the car industry. So we are always also looking for sustainability to improve our efficiency and this not only lowers our costs, but uh, they also lower our carbon footprint using less vehicles in each of our travels. Another tool that we implement implemented were the spec uh, trucks. These uh, trucks are vehicles that have been adapted to the needs of every sector of our clients. With these, we have units uh, which are specific to car manufacturing uh, or specific to retail. And apart from being designed for handling these kind of products, they also have an important element of sustainability because we have hybrid units which work diesel and electric power. We have units which are 100% electric, something new. We have units of uh, mall logistics in with which we go to every mall. And that is also with our ambassador's solution. With this, we have a fleet um, that covers like 100 units throughout the country that adapt to each of the requirements of the sectors and of our customers. Our next solution is the net of nets, and this is one of our latest. In these last months, we've been integrating all the networks we, we're working with. And we have several sectors, as I said. Um, we serve our clients in all these sectors like uh, chemistry, technology, car manufacturing. And with this net of networks, we have created uh, uh, different levels of integration throughout all the, the network in each of these. So instead of working independently with a distribution process or with a logistic, inverse logistic process, we are taking advantage of every resource that is being used in them. And we have a network that integrates more than 14 hosts and they are working in every of these sectors. This uh, teamwork or this teamwork um, consol consolidates all the different sectors and they build up synergy and synchronization throughout all our networks, including operations. And with this, we are not only using our resources and equipment in a better way, but we are being also more efficient and we are using the units in the last miles in each of these sectors in the most efficient way. Uh, this net of networks, you can only have it if you work with the different sectors and with the collaboration of all our clients that are being benefited by working in an integrated manner. Our Another solution is mall logistics. I mentioned it before. This solution consists in different elements. First of all, it's uh, adapted units so they can drive within cities in the last miles in zones which have very um, um, heavy traffic and with a lot of cars and vehicles. So with these units, we can integrate all the products using less vehicles. And with it, we're also more efficient. We are reducing costs and we're reducing the carbon footprint. 
we have also included an important element. They are hybrid units. This means they work with diesel and electricity. And with these, we are going towards our strategy of 2025 of reducing our uh, carbon footprint. With this solution, it's also being supported by our team of ambassadors, as we call it. There are personnel from DHL who know perfectly how each of these malls are structured in a city, in any given city. Where do you need to go in? How do you need to place the product in each of the stores? So imagine that one of our units goes to a mall with products for different clients that go to different stores. Our ambassadors, they unload the, the products, they go to these stores and within the stores, they place the product and inventory in the best way to make it faster and more efficient. Having, uh, um, being very accurate with our inventories because these are points of sale that need to be precise in every moment. Our other solution is total visibility. There is no supply chain without visibility. And the times we're living, uh, this is one of the most important things. With the connected control towers, we have created an infrastructure combining our call center, which is one of the biggest and better equipped in Latin America, with our monitoring center so we can see online what's happening with each of our customers' uh, deliveries, where are they, if there's any problem, how can we solve that? We're measuring times and efficiencies, and so we can synchronize our chain of, net of networks. So this is where we integrate all the solutions. If you imagine uh, we have our connected control tower that's coordinating all the movements of our units, spec units, that we are monitoring with our total visibility solution. And this has made a very integrated solution that work with each other to give the best service to our clients and our clients' customers. Uh, total visibility also allows us to react in any moment if there is any change of our routes or if there is any, any closed uh, highway by any natural accident. If this happens, we need to know what should we do, where should we drive through. So we need to know what's happening in all the ways in our country, and this is happening online. So our customers can see immediately in our My Supply Chain website where are their orders at. And if they are in route, if they are already in store, and if there's something that needs to be solved, we can work together. Total visibility is one of our most important tools, and our clients um, find it very useful to know what's happening in their business at every given point. So finally, as I've said um, in, um, in these um, solutions, is uh, sustainability. All this process has a very important like matter of how to be more efficient. Uh, our vehicles are electric and are hybrid, but they also have more volume and they can travel more. So that means we are using less vehicles, we can be more uh, efficient and we need less resources to move more product. So sustainability for us is very important and our strategy for 2025 is to have zero emissions. So that is why we have um, uh, wanted to have new units so much. We are using two new vehicles now and we are very proud about that our units which are 100% electric that were being used in urban uh, areas to be more efficient and to have zero emissions. And the second unit is in the perfect lane that's uh, being integrated with our net of networks, our gas vehicles. They have high capacity and they will be running between different uh, parts of the country. And starting this year, you will be able to see them integrated in our net of networks we work with. So as you see, we have uh, developed a series of uh, innovations that uh, together they form a whole environment of uh, being sustainable and which is efficient and has communication with our clients. 
with this, I hope that I could give like an overall picture of what are we working with and what are the tools that we've developed in the recent years. So I think an image says more than a thousand words. So that's why we prepared a very important video that I think will make it even clearer how does this environment work and how each of these can uh, give solutions to each of the businesses we're working with in all sectors. So please join me and let's watch this video. Seguramente has escuchado de nosotros. Most likely you've heard of us. Quizá porque somos especialistas en cadena de suministros certificados. We're specialists in certified supply chain and the number one company in logistics contracts in the world. Or perhaps because when it comes to innovation, we are the benchmark in the industry. Y aunque no lo sepas, even if you didn't know, a todos lados. we can reach anywhere. Estamos aquí. Aquí. We are here, e aquí, right here, and even there, personas, connecting people, sus vidas. improving their day-to-day -day life. We are an essential part of the daily life. Ahora, imagina potenciar tu empresa de now, just que picture the potential productado. your company has always Todo had, whatever you've envisioned. Es real. All of this is real, aquí, and we can make lugar. it possible here, in this place. With our transportation solutions, we are innovating on a daily basis, creating efficient processes and taking our customers to the next level by becoming their strategic partners. The ongoing improvement in our operational practices have allowed us to develop a unique transportation system, ever growing and providing results. In DHL Supply Chain Mexico, we transform the industry of transportation with state-of-the-art technology by delivering excellence in the digital and human world, because 90% of our operations is carried out by people. The team of experts in transportation have allowed us to have travel over 100 million kilo kilometers a year. This equals around 130 trips to the moon, back and forth. We provide you with over 500 lines of transportation and over 10,000 delivery points across the country with the network of aftermarket, the largest automotive sector in the country. We carry out over 250 operations from inbound to manufacturing, just-in-time operations on a daily basis, over 1,500, and we work with more than 120 most demanding companies of the automotive sector, consumption, health sciences, technology, retail, energy, aeronautics, manufacturing, and chemistry. We make them grow not just with our services, but with synergy based on understanding your needs. All of this in a human environment, with social responsibility and committed to the environment. Did you know by the year 2050 DHL will be a zero emission company? But then, what can we do for you? We could start by our transportation solutions full load FTO. Perfect lane para carga consolidada. Perfect lane for consolidated LTO load. Transportes especializados. Specialized transportation. Servicios intermodal. 
intermodality services, Así como soluciones de administración de todo as well de as distribución. administration solutions for Diseño, your whole distribution chain, de design, implementation, and operation Esto management. This is translated into efficiency costos, through reducing costs, procesos, optimizing processes, and total visibility. By our, by our control tower, considered one of the best among the world. Porque cuando hablamos de innovación, because no when it comes to innovation, we don't take it as a joke. We innovate with fleets with characteristics that are tailor-made. We're innovating in systems where all processes from our human talent are measurable and hence capable of improvement. Innovamos en la tecnología para We innovate with technology for our transportation, both in locations and security. And on top of that, we are innovating in our total visibility service where you have a full follow-up of each and every one of your shipments in real time. When you join our local and global distribution networks, what you get in return is perfection the maximum efficiency, and most importantly, just in time. We deliver excellence in everything we carry out. And this is precisely what DHL Supply Mexico has to offer to each of our customers. Total satisfaction. Perfect lane. But not just that, we are committed to the development of the transportation industry in Mexico to remain the logistics company for the world. And so, coming back to my original question, what can we do for your company? Intelligent transportation solutions that are reliable and secure. Because together we are unstoppable. We are Transportation DHL, Supply Chain Mexico. Well, that's what we have developed um, in our tools. And as our video says, uh, together we are unstoppable. So with these tools, um, we, can, we can transmit them to the rest of the region. So let's, let's take a look to the development that we have in Latin America in these last months and years using the same tools and growing our capacities for instance, in Mexico, our perfect lane solution has had a reconfiguration and growth that has uh, taken us to all the states in the country and we are delivering our products 99.9% .9 on time. So practically all our deliveries are on time and with the better quality with each of our tools. We have also worked with the digitalization and innovation. We have robotic process automation implemented throughout all the supply chain and especially with our transport solutions. With these, we have um, um, achieved uh, uh, high visibility. In the region, for instance, in Brazil, we the growth has been very accelerated in e-commerce nowadays. Uh, our fleet there has grown and includes uh, sustainable units. As you saw with the spec units, we also uh, have uh, electricity powered and also low uh, carbon footprint vehicles. And with this, we have expanded our, our network. Each of our hosts in Brazil is giving the best services, um, growing our consolidation in the different sectors we work with. With these, this has I've always also been taken to Colombia. There we have 50 clients working with us in transport solutions. And besides that, we are implementing our next connected control tower with the same technology, the same procedures, 
uh, we are using and unifying that to be able to work in Colombia in the same way that we're working in Mexico and in Brazil. So we are also growing our consolidation network, for instance, in consumption sector, life sciences and technology. Each of these clients are enjoying the benefits of a total integration in their operations. So what we call our cluster pack, this includes Peru, Col Colombia and Chile. We have been able to expand this over uh, to over 40 customers and very focused in e-commerce and the last mile solutions that uh, consolidate and make resources more efficient. And also this uh, connected control tower. As you see with this, we are able to have the same solutions and the same benefits, the same visibility, all being integrated in this connected control tower that allow us to have total visibility. We've been uh, working in the upcoming years to promote um, sustainable solutions, always considering like automatization and digitalization and to expand our transport solutions, inbound manufacturing, net of networks, car manufacturing solutions, last miles, small logistics, all this package of solutions that we've talked about today are being replicated in our operations and we are growing them uh, so each of our customers can have the benefits of working in the same way throughout the region. So with this, we continue with uh, the phrase that together we are unstoppable and we take that to the whole region. So this will be, my talk is just an introduction of what you will see in the in coming days. I think it will be three very interesting days where you can see these solutions have impacted the markets, our customers in a positive way. So thank you very much and please stay with us. There is no question transportation has very fast transformed in, in a very considerable fashion. That is the reason why steps such as the following are necessary for safety. I would like to ask you the following questions from our audience. The first one is, in what way, I mean, for Latin America, what are the challenges for 2022 in terms of implementing transportation technologies? I think, Cloud, that uh, these this growth of the solutions of sustainable transportation integrated with technology. How we can take an efficient process and add information and innovation into that so we can make it a sustainable solution. With this, we don't only mean to bring down our carbon footprint, but also to be sustainable throughout time that can be replicable and that we can have it with several customers. Sustainability means that something that can be maintained throughout time. I think that's something important that we are solid, uh, that we our solutions are sustainable throughout the supply chain. Thank you kindly, Juan. And we have another question from the audience. When it comes to the business, and this is important, how can we communicate to organizations the need to implement sustainable transportation solutions? I think with the benefits that um, our solutions give, so it is not only to look for bringing down our carbon footprint. Be sustainable is much more. So when you have benefits like in customer service and to reduce your delivery times to invest less and to reduce costs, I mean, and to reduce the carbon footprint to carry more product at the same time, I think all these creates an environment, that the one that we talked about, the, that's a solution and that is sustainable throughout time. I think there are a series of elements that will always integrate a solution like this. 
Perfect, Juan. Thank you very much for your answer. Finally, Juan, what are the steps you suggest in order to develop a net of networks? Um, the first thing I think is that you need to consider where do you need to get to and how do you need to get to. That's the main thing, to know your market, what's the uh, customer that you're serving and how you need to serve him. Second of all, uh, what resources do you have? How can you use re your resources in a better way? Where are you traveling from? Where are you going to? And how these can be more efficient? Third of all, um, to know how this sector that you're working in with works. Um, you have to consider capacity restrictions and uh, product restrictions like cold chain, for instance, or dangerous products. If these elements, you integrate them and generate a process of uh, distribution, which is efficient, I think that would be the first uh, step to create your net of networks. Excellent, Juan. Thank you very much for such an enriching session. I think this is a fantastic way to kick off with DHL Transportation Forum 2021. It is clear for us that in DHL we are still focusing on being then on the age of technology to provide our customers with the best solutions. Thank you, Juan, and uh, thank you for everyone that has been with us in this session. In the next days, you will be receiving a survey in your email, the one that you used to, to register. So please share your comments with us so we can consider your suggestions in our next editions. Moving up with our agenda at 10 a.m. Mexico City time, we urge you to participate in our first panel of this event, a strategic outlook for Mexico and Latin America. In the meantime, we will take a brief break and we will be back with you. Thank you. Thank you.